We were excited to be part of the grand opening of the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Sacramento, a destination worth a visit. Are you ready to rock? Today's the grand opening of the Hard Rock here in Sacramento. Really, really excited. It's a state-of-the-art integrated resort facility, frankly, that rivals anything in the area. The minute you drive up into our front entrance, you drive up to this beautiful marquee screen here, which you'll see after we do our grand opening guitar smash, will fire up and light up, and it offers our 35-foot iconic Hard Rock Cafe guitar. And the minute you walk in the front doors, we have what we call our exploding guitar on the ceiling. It's a light and animation fixture. On top of all of that, we have 100 pieces of memorabilia. Everything from Eddie Van Halen's motorcycle right at our center bar to memorabilia from Johnny Cash, of course, with Folsom Prism and those memories there, to Whitney Houston, to Justin Timberlake, and literally everything in between. Hard Rock is the most recognized brand in the world when it comes to entertainment. We had almost 150 million people come specifically to our locations last year. And a lot of that has to do with the surprise, the drama. This is the Hard Rock way. We like to do things bigger and better. We really ramp everything up and you know turn the amplification to 11. We have all class three gaming, 1,587 slot machines on our floor, a lot of unique amenities. Uh, you'll find all the games you'd find in Las Vegas or anywhere else in the country right on our gaming floor. And of course, you can even order your drinks right at the game and they'll be delivered right to you. You can have your favorite drink, just press a button right on our game anytime and the drinks are delivered right on demand. We have six restaurants in the property. We have our Council Oak Steakhouse, which has 28-day dry-aged beef in our own butcher shop that we carve up each and every day for our guests. We also have our Song Asian restaurant, which features Szechuan, Mandarin, and Cantonese cuisine, as well as Yu Yu, which is our noodle bar that has 15 seats and is open for lunch and dinner. If you're interested in all you can eat, we have our Fresh Harvest Buffet, and then of course we have the iconic Hard Rock Cafe, so guests here can experience the well-regarded and well-known brand of Hard Rock we're going to hold all kinds of entertainment, whether it's on our pool deck, whether it's in our ballroom facility, or whether it's in our partnership with the Toyota Amphitheater next door. We're going to have all kinds of entertainment programming through the course of the year. One of the features that we're going to have every weekend is on our Hard Rock Cafe stage, we'll have local bands. We really like to reinvest locally. The goal is to work with locals, work with local vendors, work with local culture, you know, win other countries, you know, work with other currencies. These are things we do on a global basis. Frankly, it's very important for us to make sure there's a partner, in this particular case, another tribe or sovereign nation, you know, that is interested in expanding uh, their economic ability to all their members of the tribe. And the relationship between the Seminole tribe and the Rancheria tribe is a match made in heaven. Love all, serve all, caring about other individuals, all is one. These things really matter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Sacramento and Fire Mountain. My name is Lisa Gilligan, MBE. I'm the first employee at the Hard Rock Cafe since 14 June 1971. I've opened about 174 Hard Rocks, I think, worldwide. And uh, I do all the grand openings, so I'm nearly always on a plane, you know? I've been working for Hard Rock for 48 years, and I've enjoyed every day. I've worked every day with a smile on my face, and I just love my job. And I love the people I work with, because the success of the Hard Rock is our staff. We're real excited about this grand opening festivity. Instead of doing a ribbon cutting for our traditional grand openings, we take a guitar and we smash it. We try to mimic the rock stars and that energy and vibe that really gets people excited and kind of ushers in the new experience. So come on in, we're ready. So when I talk about entertainment, it's just not about live music, but it's the restaurants, it's the retail, the rooms, the suites, the meeting space, all those things come together you to really have a lot of excitement in one environment. Everywhere you turn in the building, there's really unique design elements and amenities and features that I think guests will be fully entertained and excited about for years to come.